Welcome to the Nerd Nook. I'm your host, Evan Teague, with me on the call is the man who is not leaving the podcast, Noah Bailey. At least for now. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so, this this happens quite a bit where, like, we stop recording and then I check Twitter and it's like, oh, well, something big just happened, but <laughs> I'm going to talk about it next time. Um, so, um, Henry Cavill has announced that he is leaving The Witcher show and he is being replaced by Liam Hemsworth. Mm-hmm. So, you actually watched The Witcher show, right? Yes. How, yes. how is it this... in general? It's actually really good. Like, it is really, like, it, like, I, as someone who did not play the games going in, I <laughs> thought I was not going to enjoy it as much as I would. I enjoy it a lot, actually. Hmm. It's a lot of fun. Like, it's very, like, it's, it's got, it's definitely has this, like, kind of Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones kind of energy, kind of, in terms of, like, you know, it's, you know, medieval fighting monsters, you know, cool stuff. And then Henry Cavill really does a great job just selling this, like, lone wolf traveler type that learns to, like, you know, work with people. And he's, like, you know, he's just a really, like, he's, like, he's a really, like, you know, quiet, but, like, just just a cool dude. Just really, you know, really knows, you know, gets his fighting done, all this good stuff. He, for me, makes the show. So when I heard this, I was very like, well, that's the end of The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no offense to Liam at all. I think Liam's just fine. I think this is just a not winnable situation. And uh, it's interesting because I remember when I heard, I looked into this, like, okay, what's going on? Why is he leaving? And it's like, oh, it's differences between Henry Cavill and the source material versus the writers and Netflix want to do their own thing. I'm like, Oh, well, that can't be good. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> because we know whenever Netflix goes away from the source material, things always get better, right? Yep. Part of the reason Henry wanted to play <laughs> Geralt of Rivera was because he was a massive nerd for the books. Like, he read the books before the games came out. Like, he, he is a massive Witcher fan. And he wanted to, like, to essentially do those books justice on the show. But halfway through season two, he he was like, hey, this didn't happen this way in the books. Can we change it? And the writer's like, no, we don't care. (laughs) Screw you. We don't care about comic accuracy. (laughs) Like, uh, okay. And then season three happened. He's like, I don't like where this is going. Um, I'd rather play Superman again. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I do that again. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, and that's kind of the thing. It's like... I feel like this is like, you know, it's like this kind of like the Avatar thing. It's like, oh, yeah, Netflix and the Avatar creators had creative disagreements. I'm like, if you disagree with the person who made it, I feel like you're in the wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, how are you going to tell the person who made it? No, no, this is how it should be. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. But, yeah, I don't, I, that's not a good sign in my book. No, I just feel like it's not a good business strategy. To have people writing your your content that actively dislike the source material because apparently according to the director a lot of his writers had either never read it or if they did didn't like it yet they are the ones writing this show like that's kind of my thing how does who decides that like why do you get this writing team that clearly isn't a fan of what you like i feel like ideally you get people who like what you're working with and go from there mm-hmm. like that's what makes it work what whatever um so yeah he uh like i the witcher is definitely a show i wanted to get into at some point like something i've heard you say has, has been good before like i've you know heard good things mm-hmm. about it especially season one that didn't hear much about it since maybe that's because season two and three weren't as good i'm not sure i haven't seen it but if if what I'm hearing as to why he's leaving is true, like at least Henry wasn't wasn't into what was going on, so you know, I, I don't know how much of an attachment Liam Hensworth has to the property, but you know maybe he'll be able to do Geralt justice and it'll be fine. But um, I think it might end after season four. <laughs> it's going right now. Yeah, I, I, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm like, I don't see this going well. Anytime the main character 
or in this case title character is replaced Mm -hmm. the show usually dies like right after i mean i i can't at the top of my head i'm trying to think of examples but it's like i can't think of a show that the title character got replaced and the show like did well (laughs) no um i can't think of many times it happened period but regardless it doesn't sound like just from like the audience's perspective like if you had three seasons to you know attach this guy and now he looks different even if he is even if he is the same character written the same way using pretty much the same voice like it's still he's still going to be different and i'm sorry like that's just how it is (laughs) yeah i just i don't see this going well at all like at all like i'm just kind of like oh that's not a wise thing to do like (laughs) make your star not want to go because okay it's one thing if he doesn't want to do it because he wants to do it his way but it's like if the source material and the star are on one side and the writers on the other side i feel like the writers are wrong personally i agree but i agree we'll see yeah we'll, we'll see um sticking with stuff that uh henry cavill might be in uh, Mr. Zaslav over at uh, Warner Bros. Discovery recently had a, in an interview he said that going forward Warner Brothers is going to try to focus on franchise movies almost exclusively which like we know we've known from many reports that, De- that Warner Brothers as a collective is broke. I don't know if they if this is a result of the merger or if the or if they were broke, and then the merger was supposed to help, and it didn't. But regardless, it seems the merger is not working out how they thought it would. Um, and apparently, they only had money for two movies to be released, released this year. Don't worry, darling flop. And uh, the Black Adam movie is doing fine <laughs> at the box office. I feel it should be doing better, but it's just kind of... It's at over $300 million now, which is like kind of breaking even, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> If it's like it, it might break even at, at the end of its run, but right now it's like it's it's not making as much money as DC, I'm sure, hoped it would. Um, but so so focusing in on these franchises like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Superman, you know, DC stuff, it's like that makes sense. What doesn't make sense is another little tidbit of this of like of of this interview. Um, in this interview, he he said, Mr. Zasloff said, it makes no sense why we haven't, we as Warner Brothers, haven't released a Harry Potter movie in the past 15 years, nor a Superman movie in 13 years, and we want to remedy that. The last Harry Potter movie... Like, let's just be as charitable as possible. Ignore the Fantastic Beast movies. I know a lot of people want to do that anyway. Um, <laughs> those are not very good movies. But they're still in the Harry Potter universe. But regardless, let's let's go fully, fully Harry Potter in the name property. The last Harry Potter movie came out in 2011. It's 11 years ago. The last Superman movie came out nine years ago. <laughs> Even if you're talking about Superman Returns, that was 2006. So <laughs> that's not even right. I don't know. Like, what is? You're the owner of this company, and you don't even know when your movies come out. <laughs> like, what the heck is what? <laughs> Wait, how many years ago did you say the last Superman movie was? Thirteen. What did he think came out in 2009? <laughs> I got nothing. Smallville no. end? I don't like what. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was the only, only, that's the only Superman thing I was thinking of. I'm like, maybe an animated Superman movie? I mean. <laughs> no, wait. But one of them just came out like the last year, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Like. I guess Superman Returns. I guess it's like halfway between Superman Returns and Man of Steel, I guess. But 
or half ish way. I don't know. I, so, but even if like we are, you know, talking franchise, like Harry, the Harry Potter franchise, they released a movie this year. Crimes of, uh, sorry, uh, Secrets of Dumbledore came out this past March. So, Harry Potter has definitely not, has definitely had the spotlight for, you know, it, it hasn't been 15 years. <laughs> uh, and, you know, Lord of the Rings franchise, the Hobbit movies came out, I think the last one was 2014 or 15. So that's, like, he... This man concerns me. <laughs> like, I know he was just like put in there because Warner Bros. Discovery for some reason had priority over over Warner Bros. during the merger, so they just put their guy in there. But the fact that you don't even know when your movies came out <laughs> should be like it's a problem. It's a problem. Like if you're giving interviews about the future of of your company, you need to at least have a cursory knowledge of your past. <laughs> <laughs> and I say we've had a Harry Potter movie in like 15 years like it's been 11 being charitable <laughs> but okay <laughs> oh boy <laughs> but at least we still have the whole you know DC Studios being held up by a uh, helm by uh, James Gunn and that other guy who seemed to know what they're doing and they've uh, uh, at least James Gunn recently uh, went to Twitter and was like Hey, you know, I, you know, we hear you. Like we, we are doing our best to listen to our fans, which is always, you know, ideal. <laughs> like, uh, especially the um, recently the whole like release the air cut of Suicide Squad has been trendy. <laughs> so people still think that could be a good movie, even though I forgot about that. David Ayer has never made a good movie, therefore I don't believe this will be a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bright is trash. Like, I don't know how people like that was the movie he made right after Suicide Squad. That movie is one of the worst thing Netflix has ever made. How do you think yeah. how do you think that man would make a good Suicide Squad movie with that cast? I don't know, just whatever. Um, but regardless, James Gunn is like, we we hear you, like we you know, we you know, are are putting everything to consideration. Right now we're focusing on expanding this universe into the future. We're not denying this could happen, but just, you know, just know like we are listening to what you want. So being open about that is, is is a very good first start for the studio. You know, it might not happen right away. Hopefully it doesn't happen at all. Maybe I, I would eat my words like I did with Justice League. But, you know, at least, well, again, just like with Justice League, if the air cut does come out, at least they'll shut up. So that's something. <laughs> I mean, I feel like with the, the Suicide Squad, I feel like that should kind of dismiss any other Suicide Squad stuff. I agree. But <laughs> I agree completely. Um, we'll see. Yeah. Um, so this, I had this thought after after uh, hearing the Zaslav interview, I had this thought. I know there was a uh, an animated Superman movie in like 2020, it was like one or two years ago, called Superman the Man of Tomorrow. <clears throat> but if they were to make a a Superman like a Man of Steel two, I think it would be kind of cool if they called if they called that movie Man of Tomorrow, like Man of Steel equals Man of Tomorrow. I think that could be. I think that would be cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Why not? Like. I mean, I guess tomorrow's already today in this universe, but I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he's, nah, it's just, it's, he's been dead it's for a just while, a so his, his tomorrow was yesterday or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. I still yearn for a Superman movie called Superman World's Finest. I just feel like that title just feels right to me. <laughs> like, that's the name of his comics, so just... Put, make that a movie <laughs> like people you know put him in a universal people like him <laughs> like he is you know the pinnacle of what superheroes are in this universe i just feel like that <laughs> works but man of tomorrow being the sequel to man of steel i think would be would be cheeky yeah, enough. I like see that. That. yeah. Um, so 
Yeah. Um, moving over to Disney stuff. I am going to get this name wrong. I apologize, but oh dear. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna say the guy that played Black Manta. <laughs> the guy that played Black Manta. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't written down. I can see it, but none of those letters. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I'm just. I can't. Too many syllables. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Abdul Mateen the second. That's all. I'm gonna say. Mr. Abdul Mateen the second. He has been cast to play Wonder Man in the Disney Plus show. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I know almost nothing about Wonder Man, but why not? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, pretty fun doing superhero stuff. Pretty fun watching, you know, actors you know, bounce between worlds, bounce between you know, DC mm-hmm. and Marvel. So, like, he's still gonna be in uh, at least Aquaman too. So, you know, why not be in both? Like, I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, sure. Might as well get paid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I still, I. I would like to believe if he, you know, if he is in Marvel Universe, he still could potentially, like, Black Manta could still be in, like, you know, a next Suicide Squad or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, or, like, a, uh, you know, uh, 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 Legion of Doom or something. Because, um, like, I feel like since... Uh, I don't know. I just feel like when you're constructing a DC universe, you should try to like leave puzzle pieces there to connect into other team ups like that. Like you already have, like, I don't like the Lex Luthor that we have, but we have a Lex Luthor. We kind of have a Deathstroke. We have a Black Manta. We should have a Cheetah, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, we almost have a Cheetah. It's like, we, we have, we technically have some things that like could come together into a pretty cool Legion of Doom already. You know, you could even have Black Black Adam in there if you like had to. Um, <laughs> might be a little much, but you could do it. Um, but it, I feel like that should be the focus. That should be like a focus uh, for for James Gunn and Co. going forward. Like, you know, make these movies, but in the back burner, be like, we want this other thing to to happen at least down the line. And I think Black Panther could be an integral part of that. Yeah, no, and I think Black Man is a very underrated villain in general. Mm. So I think yeah, making him a, a more of a staple would be a good move. Mm-hmm. Like, is it weird that essentially I, I want the Legion of Doom movie to happen almost specifically because I want the scene where like they trade bad guys. <laughs> like, I want to see Wonder Woman beat the crap out of Deathstroke. I want to see like, like, um. Like aqua, uh, like, like aqua, hmm, like Batman beat up Black Manta, or just, you know, just you know, like, or like, you know, stuff like that. Just like random, like, they switch and it's just it's over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's just kind of like everyone just got it. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, oh crap! <laughs> like Superman yeah. comes down. Like, like oh, my man tries to like shoot laser beams at Superman. Is cute. <laughs> I feel like they should do that more. I feel like teams should do that more out because they always go get their own villains. I'm like, why, why are we doing this? Like, like just like trade. Superman. You can handle. Like, you don't need to take on Metallo. Like, we he's like created to stop you. Like, just switch. <laughs> he's literally the only villain here who can probably try at least kind of stop you. Take on anyone else. <laughs> And then Metallo can, uh, I'm pretty sure anyone else could probably take Metallo. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, the only reason he's effective is because he has kryptonite in his yep. heart. Like, you know, Captain Cold is a pretty hard counter for Flash, but, like, what's he going to do against Wonder Woman or Batman? or Like, what's he going to do against anyone else? <laughs> I'm like, Batman already has his own Captain Cold that he takes down on a daily yeah. basis. He's not... <laughs> It is like Mr. Reese is probably <laughs> more capable anyway. Yeah. So. Like I want that scene so badly, so just make that happen. <laughs> yeah. But but regardless, he'll at least be in in the Marvel universe in some capacity. Um, like I'll I'll research more about that character more in the future when that show is actually like about to come out, but. 
you know. The show called Wonder Man? Why not? All right. Um, uh, next up, Aubrey Plaza has been cast in the Agatha show. Ooh. I like Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. I haven't seen her in anything in a while, so I think that's... I like this. Yeah. Like, she, I feel like she could play a witch very convincingly. Yes. I feel like she, I feel like she asked to be in this. <laughs> I, feel like they, I feel like they didn't come to her. I feel like she came to them and was like, listen, I need to be in this. Yeah, that's... That's cool. Like, this... I, I really curious about what exactly the show is going to be about because you know where we left Agatha she was brainwashed and just you know one of the people of Westview so I wonder like is she gonna just like hmm I wonder because we we still don't we still haven't gotten like hard confirmation if Wanda actually died during um Multiverse of Madness but it could be like she didn't but like her death like caused the spell to break on Agatha I guess mm -hmm. yeah oh uh, yeah I guess, that is, I guess that's a good point I didn't think about that she can like be yeah resurrected or like at least released from her like prison I guess mm -hmm. and then yeah, just watch her just you know do witch stuff for a while that's yeah why not yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. I love like, Catherine. That Hahn. sounds great. More Catherine Hahn is always good. Yes, <laughs> I do like Catherine Hahn, Aubrey Plaza. That sounds like a combo right there. Because mm -hmm. that's like, far, I mean, that's Parks and Rec. Like, yeah, huh. yeah. So I know Catherine Hahn was on that a good bit. So mm -hmm. yeah, I could. Yeah, I'm for it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Adam Scott is over filming stuff for uh, the Adam Webb movie. I don't think I'll be able to get him for this, but maybe someday. <laughs> hey, I, hey, you know, you know wait, give her, I'm sure Amy Palmer's around. <laughs> Star Lord gets her right? a call. <laughs> right? You know, that'd be awesome. I, she would have been a good like neighbor also to be mm. in that show. Yeah. Um, yeah, last up for Disney stuff. Uh, I finally watched the Tales of the Jedi miniseries on Disney Plus, and it was very good. <laughs> it was very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That 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 was that was some good Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, like I I the the fact that they finally after. 20 years finally decided to actually show what happened to, like to Dooku during the events between episode one and two <laughs> like, <laughs> yes like one of my main issues well one of my main issues with Dooku's character existing in those movies <laughs> who's more carefully because there's a lot of issues with those movies one of my main issues with Dooku specifically is the fact that he didn't show up at all in episode one. Right. So at least like a part of this showing him in the temple, interacting with Qui-Gon, interacting with other Jedi during the events of episode one, I thought was very good. Yeah. yeah. And I also, I really like the moment. It kind of reminded me of that season seven moment of, of Clone Wars where you kind of, you kind of get that one where they're like, oh, we're in the movie right now. We're in episode one right now. We just don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's kind of like, oh, yeah, he saw a Sith Lord. They're on that. He's like, oh, no, I know where we are. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good for quite a <laughs> Like, oh, no. Like, it does kind of mess with my head can of, like, I don't know. So I don't know exactly why Dooku would be making or why he would be um, – making the 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 clone army before the events of episode one are over because i feel like if there's a lot of just a lot of conveniences that have to take place in order for palpatine's plan to go exactly as planned and i feel like him starting it before the trade federation falls in the in episode one 
kind of messes with that in my head. But regardless, because <laughs> like if cause I feel like if 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 that plan went like fully went through to, to fruition and Darth Maul had killed Obi Wan and, and kept kidnapped Anakin and taken him, like that would have you wouldn't even need the war anymore. Like you you won. <laughs> But did you though? Because you still need to get rid of the other Jedi, though. I, I, yeah, I mean, like you still need the clones. You still need a war. But you still, I don't know. I feel, there's a lot of moving parts that I feel like that only work if Palpatine has actually watched Star Wars. <laughs> like he knows it has to end this way, so we just need to like have the. Cl- <laughs> I don't know. I feel like. The way Palpatine's plan, the way it was to set up in Episode One, it only makes sense if he planned for Maul to die. But there's no guarantee of that happening. Well, he could have always killed him. True, but I mean that was kind of my, that was kind of my whole thing. I think it was one of those things where he had planned to because Palpatine knows that Anakin is the end game. So he knows that, but in order to get there, he has to he has to get to this point and this point, which means he needs Qui Gon and probably Obi Wan to die at some point. Mm. So he's planning to see what he can do to get there as well as get rid of the other Jedi. So really, he doesn't need Maul or Count Dooku specifically. He just needs one or the other to cause the events to take place. Right. So if you know, you can have them fight each other. You can have. You know, if Maul dies, oh, that was my plan the whole time. If Dooku dies, oh, that was my plan. Like, <laughs> it's kind of this thing where it's like, <laughs> it's like that whole thing where it's like, no, either way, it's kind of like when they had in tic tac toe when someone's got you two ways. It's kind of like it doesn't really matter what your next <laughs> move is. I can still use it the same way and still win. It's kind of like because since neither of them are, it's like yes, I think Dooku is more important to make the war happen. But you could still, if the clones are being made, you don't need a war. You can just show up with clones. Fair enough. Like, it wouldn't yeah. be as effective. But, I mean, a surprise attack of that magnitude would still be unreal. But, counterpoint, if you don't make the clones at all and just mass manufacture droids and just storm the capital, you win. Do you, though? Because, again, droids are not, like, I understand you, that droids get better, but, I mean, droids at this point are not there yet, I don't feel like. Like, you know, 10 like, years, know like, during the events of episode two, if you if you just mass manufacture, you know, a, you know, a couple million super battle droids, droids. They, the, it is very explicitly stated there is no galactic army. There is no, right. you know, there will be nothing outside of a couple of guards and Jedi to take out, you know, a tire, like several platoons of droids, like Emperor Palpatine can just say, "Oh, I'm here, I win." It's like, but I there's a the lot of Jedi, though. I mean, there's still thousands, right? Yes, but like, you know, a hundred showed up on on a, a oh no, what's the place called? Um, um, uh, Geonosis. Geonosis, and most of them That's died. That's a good point. That's a good. That's a good point. Yeah. That is a good point. A lot of them did that, which kind of doesn't make sense to me, right. I guess. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I guess that's a good point, and it's still unexpected. I don't know, though, because it's, I guess, well, for one, I think the best Jedi would still be around. I don't know, because my I think his whole thing with the whole clones is that <laughs> it's the deception. It's the, like, <laughs> you know turning on them because it's unexpected that you know that makes it work and i guess the war is effective for two reasons one it gets rid of all the competition table because even if you get rid of the jedi there's still like you know there's you know the outer realm with all these guys are here there's still disorder you need some kind of policing to take over after you take over anyway so you kind of need the war to like kill each other essentially and make their room and then also, Can you not there's look- no way to like. That's the thing. I'm like, I don't know. Can I guess you not just rule with the my thing is, I think the with war a has giant to army of droids. Can I just use the droids for that same? That's true. Purpose? That's true. But what do you give droids to the Jedi? I mean, no. I you, guess. I mean, all the Jedi. Like the end game is all the Jedi dying with only you and Darth Vader left. Right. <clears throat> 
that's all that matters. I mean, you don't need. I mean, you don't need clones after that because you just get stormtroopers anyway. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it, <I> guess... there's, <laughs> there's again, like, it doesn't matter. There, there's there's a lot of stuff. Like, it, essentially, yeah. I, I always thought that's how it happened, but confirming it raises kind of more questions. Even though, like, I knew that's how it. Whatever. <laughs> but regardless, like, like going to the first episode of of the Count Dooku sequence. Like that was like watching his gradual descent into like, mm-hmm. you know, into the dark side was very, very fun. <laughs> and watching with my roommate, like when, when uh, that, that Senator guy rolled up with his like, you know, a small army and it was just Dooku and those, a couple of people. <laughs> my roommate was like, Oh, don't do it, man. I know, I know Dooku's name. I don't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that does tell you all you need to know. <laughs> There's a named character in Star Wars that you know will be in a future movie. It's like, well, <laughs> why well, are you in the game? This doesn't end well for you now, does it? <laughs> Granted, he he doesn't just have a lightsaber. He also has plot. You just can't yeah. see it. <laughs> he didn't kill him, but he got pretty close. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I was kind of surprised. I was kind of surprised he didn't just end it all. And I thought he was just going to just end it all in like two moves. Like I didn't think they were going to just let it like, yeah. I don't know. Cause it was kind of, I did like when he was going for the kill and Qui-Gon tries to stop him. He just throws Qui-Gon back. Like he's almost like, Oh, he's yep. going to kill him. But it <laughs> was, it was wild seeing it though. Cause it's like the whole time. Like, especially in the second episode where, like, Mace and Dooku are having this back and forth. The entire time, I'm like, Dooku's right. Dooku's right. I, I, Dude, like, I'm not, like, none of Mace Windu's points make any sense. No. The whole time. Which is very consistent with his character also. But and, it's just kind I, of weak. And I want to point out, in episode two, Mace Windu is like, Dooku used to be a Jedi. He is not capable of killing anybody. Cut to Mace Windu, you know killing that guy <laughs> in the, in the, in the right? <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah i'm just kind of like all right well I, and i think it's one of those things too where i think mace is so hyped up on his own lies he just believes whatever mm. oh no he's a jedi jedi are good so it doesn't yeah. matter it's like bro you saw this man <laughs> like it makes so much sense that that windu is pivotal to count dooku's descent into the, into the dark side because like I don't know if he was lying about knowing about him taking that person's seat before the mission, but like just that happening and like Dooku being like, well, they're, they fully ostracized me from, you know, even though I was right, I was completely right. They didn't like my methods. So guess I'll be evil. Got no choice. <laughs> I mean, like, see, that's the, th- that's the only thing about, and kind of just Star Wars in general, because that happens all the time, but it's like, I understand the Jedi are terrible <laughs> and like don't make any sense, but that does not mean the logical choice is to immediately go to the opposite extreme. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's kind of and that's kind of why I think the whole thing like what, the whole thing like what Ahsoka does makes more sense. You just mm. leave. You don't just all right. Well, the Jedi suck. Guess I'm trading and getting a red lightsaber. Like it's like wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> just not be a Jedi. <laughs> like, I mean, that's like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, change team. Like, no, just don't play. Like, I'm going to actively murder you since I don't agree with you on fundamental things. It's like, you could just not. Okay. But, like, I don't know. It just, it felt. Even, like, during, you know, it, you know when, like, you know, he's talking to Darth Sidious and he's just kind of going through it's like, why are you evil though like i understand that you don't get it but why did you go evil i don't really that doesn't really make any I guess sense Sidious, who i i love that they got ian, ian mcdermott back to the voice i mean that was yes good <laughs> uh um i guess him lying about like his actual true intentions you know i i but like i don't know i always got the sense that dooku was all in on everything palpatine was saying like like obviously he was surprised at the very last moment that he would that help yeah. would betray him, but I feel like he was all in on the idea of the like of the deception and the the you know the war being just a proxy for his rise to power. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, mm-hmm. question because they kind of touched on this. 
Do you think Palpatine made him sure made Maul to make sure he killed Qui Gon specifically? Made Maul because that was a re- to kill Qui-Gon? yeah, like I, mm. yeah, I think that was a really good thing he brought in because like you know Dooku's like we did we could have used Qui Gon he would have been a great asset he's like yeah for you maybe <laughs> like he's like yeah. I'm not trying to I mean we know in the Clone Wars show Sidious is very jealous of Dooku's apprentices like he he wants uh Asajj Ventress killed just for right? being his apprentice so yeah like right? I I don't know exactly if Qui-Gon ever dabbled in the dark side but like he potentially could have been an, an, apprentice, an apprentice for him so well that's the thing Qui-Gon's also famous for also kind of have that free speaking thinking mindset too so like Granted, if that had have been tainted, like him and Count Duke, like because again, they you know, they went together for years, so like it would make stand a reason they would try to overthrow him together. Yeah. But yeah, it's like I don't know. I just think that's so interesting how like I think there's a like a plan this whole thing because it's not like you're just gonna like yeah I'll just you know let him go like no 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 because if you're gonna take an apprentice, you can't take an apprentice that can potentially beat you. Yeah. If he teams up with his own apprentice, you know what I mean? Like, and I think Dooku kind of learned that because then he's just getting, oh, no, it's just an assassin or, oh, it's just a brute. It's not a real apprentice. And on the low, he's like, all right, man, lift those rocks. Come on. Like, you know, it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, so I think, I think that's really interesting how there's like, because again, you're always like, there's always this rule. So you're always trying to like replace the other, double cross them before they double cross you mm-hmm. kind of thing, which, you know, toxic, but that's the dark side. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think that's really, because even in episode two, he's trying to like, I, you know, he's trying to get Obi-Wan even, because he's like, okay, well, Qui-Gon said the good things about this kid. He killed a Sith Lord. He knows, you know what I mean? He's got to mm-hmm. be pretty good at this. So like, maybe I can, you know, because I think Dooku, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay. I think that the dark side is whack, but it's a means to an end in order to get what I think is really peace. So maybe he's like, I'll do it for now, get an apprentice, kill Sidious, and then my version of the dark side will be kind of chill. Mm. And I think that's kind of was always his goal. And I think Sidious knows that, so he's kind of, like, stringing it along a little bit, like, you know, think he doesn't get it, and then he's like, no, I see what you're doing, <laughs> but right, because right. because yeah, Dooku's Dooku's fall is like pretty like like you said like pretty valid because he was right. He like his methods, although extreme, get the job done very effectively, and the Jedi can't see that. They would rather you know stay in their own ways and die as a race as opposed to you know like doing things the right way like there is merit to both to evolve, ideas, but, like, should, yeah. but he like he sees that they they could evolve and you know but probably should if you know if, if his <laughs> like he would maybe necessarily wouldn't you know wouldn't be opposed to just a great reset of like we'll just kill all the jedi and just start over <laughs> you know what, what's the worst that could happen <laughs> yeah I think he went, yeah, a little too extreme with that, but, it, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good point. Do you think Count Dooku is all in on the Jedi Purge? I, I mean, it seems like it. He he was yeah, fine. I know, was like, I know, like, like, obviously, obviously, I know he, like, yeah. like, I know he put the order in, but how much of that was following orders and how much of that was, like, yeah, they all need to die? Like, yeah, he killed, I don't know. He was fine with them all Because even with his duel with Yaddle, he didn't seem like he, like, wanted... He, like... It was like... it. You know how it's like... Sidious just wants to kill all the Jedi. He's just evil. Yeah. But I feel like he wanted to kill her because he was like, oh, no, witnesses. You know, it wasn't like a, ugh, all Jedi need to die. It felt like more of a she knows too much kind of thing. Right. Which, that makes sense. So I it kind of makes me feel like... Good. I do want to mention it's hilarious that Yaddle speaks completely normal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all these years we just thought that's how they talk and then y'all was like nah he's just weird i I don't know if bryce dallas howard just wanted to talk normally or just just or if she was told she could talk normally or if that's always been yodel's deal wouldn't you my thing is wouldn't you want to do a yodel like 
I would think that would be fun. Like, come on. Like, I think that, that's an iconic speech pattern that literally no other character does that I can think of. So, like, mm. you would think you would want to do that because that would be fun, yeah. I would think. But, no. again, maybe. But, again, it does make sense when you think about it because, you know, not everybody from every planet speaks the same. True. You know, they could have been from a different part of the world, or maybe he, you know, or maybe his brain, you know, maybe he's just different. Maybe there are some that do and some that don't. Like, I, we have no I think he is like, canonically 500 years older than her. Like yeah, something that. like that. <laughs> right. So, like, maybe he speaks old English and she speaks, like, you know, 21st century. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause... He speaks, like, in King James version <laughs> or something, you know? <laughs> so it's like, you know, whatever. Like, we kind of get what he's saying, but not, all, not every other word's a little iffy. Like, <laughs> right um but yeah like their their little fight was was very good um i like they i was almost disappointed at her just dying by getting crushed because like she could have stopped that and she did so <laughs> and then pass out immediately i was there. like <laughs> i was like oh brutal <laughs> like, I was, like i remember seeing that i was just like oh <laughs> That was kind of brutal for Star. Then she lived. I was like, uh, uh, okay. Like, I, it felt like it was very low to be like I was lifting it the whole time. And also, it was down for a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like that would have you would have either caught it sooner or been crushed. I don't know. Yeah. But again, hmm. yeah. But you knew she couldn't leave that place because that's their that's been their hiding place for like forever. So. Mm. Mm. Which, I, do you think it's weird that they just have this, like, yep. place on Coruscant that just somehow nobody knows about? Like, I, I know Coruscant is a really big city. Like, a huge city with multiple layers and just over, like, five billion people on this planet. Like, I, I get it, but truly, there's, like, a lot of people on that planet. But, yeah, I think it's, like, three to five trillion people is estimated to live on Coruscant. So, like, you know, and I'm sure like, some of it's more populated than others. Yeah, maybe it's in like the industrial quadrant, so people just don't go over there. I don't know. But I mean, come on, like yeah. <laughs> also, Yaddle just kind of going without like any like. I know there's no clones yet, but you could have had like you know told somebody where you were going or like a trade something. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe I, I guess you don't think. I guess you probably don't think about it. At the time, like, you just... I mean, she didn't know where he was going. She just knew he was doing something shady. Like, I don't think she expected him to be meeting with the Sith Lord <laughs> that they were looking for. Like, oh, yeah, I guess that's true. That's kind of a stretch. <laughs> I do. I, know, but... I do find it hilarious that, um, you know, when Yada was like, you know, you know, Dooku, you know, we're having the, you know, Qui Gon's funeral on Na on Naboo. You know, you'd be a welcome face there, and he was like. Nah, I, I can't go. It'd be too hard. Like you only say that because you weren't there in the movie. <laughs> in the movie, I mean, they could have had him show up and like just been in the background from a vantage point we couldn't have seen. Yeah, <laughs> like on a balcony then, or like, just, you, uh, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, just like you know, like a hood up in a balcony, like a dark figure, and then you see little Obi and Annie down there, and just mm -hmm. like, yeah. I will say, young Qui Gon, I was that books like it's so weird to see like a yeah. Qui Gon like without like facial hair. <laughs> I was just yeah. like, wow. It's also fun watching uh, watching Dooku's hair like grow throughout. Yes, because it was interesting. Oh, the first yeah. episode, I'm like, he has, no, he has like no fish. I was like, that's not Dooku. And I was like, oh, there he is. <laughs> it's slowly becoming pointy, <laughs> Obnet obnoxiously pointy beard. It was amazing. Yeah, and... but I thought it was really. I thought it was really good. I really like the the Count Dooku stuff. I thought like, and I feel like this is kind of what Star Wars should be about, like fit like slowly filling in gaps between movies because there's some big gaps in there. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, let's make some <clears throat> stuff between Episode One and Two. Like, why not? Please, please, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, You're I, right. I want a Tales of the Jedi for every single Jedi accounted for. Like, I want, I, I want that so badly. I want to know what Kid Fisto yeah. was up to. I want to know what Plo Koon was up to. I want to know what yeah. all those people that that city has killed in that room. Like apparently some of them are like insanely strong. They just got caught off guard or something. So I want to see all that. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like yeah, it's, there's a ton of great stuff like that. And like yeah, and 
Also, like, yeah, just especially with Clone Wars stuff, like, you can just have, like, you know, things that we heard about or didn't happen or, like, you know, just random, you know, they don't have, like, I like that they were short because you don't, you know, it gets to the point. There's not a lot of downtime. It's just kind of like, oh, hey, like, even that, like, that training thing with Ahsoka, like, that was awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, I, no, like, it was, it, it, it did a lot of things. One, it was really good because, one, I think it was a good point. Because, again, those, like, I love how Anakin just thinks this is stupid because it's, like, it kind of is. Like, you know, it's, she's doing the little droids from, like, A New Hope. Like, uh, you know, like, they're a little fancier. But I'm, like, really? Like, it's going to go more than that. And then it's, like, yeah, if you can train, like, the clones and you can beat them, you're not going to win. And then, of course, it's, like, <gasps> oh, oh, Jesse gets a little carried away sometimes. Like, yes, he does. He sure does. Jesse. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it's like, oh my gosh, like, and it's crazy because she the same move she uses is the same move she used when she first escaped, and you're like, oh my god, it was not quite, like it was all in the pl- like. That's crazy to think about because it doesn't make sense until you realize, yeah, wait a minute. If she's doing this, you know, and she, at this point, she's done it for years. So, like, mm. you know, and like, I don't know. I just, and also, I, th- I think that just make. I think that's, I really like when thing like, training is highlighted. Because I feel like so many times you just see, like, oh, we can do stuff now. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I like seeing the progression of, like, you don't just wake up and, oh, I'm good. Like, yeah, you're a Jedi, but, like, you still have to train and work on it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, I really like how... Not only Anakin has this, like, <laughs> kind of, like, intent, you know, not just intent, he's not just really good at stuff. He trains like crazy, so you know he's done that for years. Yeah. But also, you know, now that she's done that for years, so it makes sense not only that, you know, she's better than most Jedi, but it's also, yeah, no wonder she's good. Like, <laughs> we like train we, for, we, know. we know that Anakin is this prodigy, but yeah, he still does train, and, like, it makes sense that like we and we saw throughout the show, uh, Ahsoka gradually get better and better. Just like you know, right. one of the best generals in the army, but like actually showing her progress throughout this throughout this episode, like throughout the years training. Right, with, and like I, I love the montage where like she gets hit and then they wake up and then they're in like season three clothes and they're like, oh, yeah. okay, coke. yeah, like <laughs> that was, oh, dude, that was like the. Um, I love that. Yes. So that was one of the best things I did. It was like 12 minutes, but man, if that wasn't some of the best 12 minutes I've uh, ever seen. Like, man. Yeah, yeah I, just... I want more of this stuff so badly. I... Yes. And I... I, like, yeah, absolutely. Like, I, yeah, you want to see more of this. You want more, like, you know, fitting in the details or things that, you know, we don't necessarily see. How do we go from here to here? I mean, I'd really like to see one where, like, Anakin's first starting out as a pattern one, kind of mm-hmm. that in between one and two kind of thing. I think that would be really interesting. Yeah. I feel like, you know, I, outside of Legends, we don't have anything on that. It's kind of my headcanon that, like, starting off, Obi Wan is kind of a terrible teacher. <laughs> like, yeah. Like he he was you know brought in way like way too young, he was like way too hot headed especially for Qui Gon's likes and like I just feel like he is not equipped at that point to be a good teacher and like him kind of growing in that role as Anakin is growing up I think could be really cool to to watch and, and, and yeah what like watching a couple of adventures like between one and two would be very fun. That would be awesome. Like, a kid Anakin. And, of course, you know, he's going to be, like, snarky and, like, overcome as I don't know what. Because he's going to be, like, you know, 12 or something. Mm-hmm. And somehow he's still, you know, a better pilot. And, a, you know, he can do all this. Like, you know, he's going to be insufferable. But oh, I feel yeah. like that's good because, of, you know, still, you know, you're still a child. You know, he's going to be, like, Damien or something. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, you're great, <laughs> but you're also, you know, four feet tall yeah. <laughs> you know like there are some things you just can't be good at yet you're yeah. just not old enough but no i think that would like a lot of those pockets of like you know in between stars that would be really good or even kind of i know this is a little like this would be different for animation but like even if for like between like episodes like five and six like i think that would be really mm. good like, especially to see like luke's progression 
You know yeah. what I mean? Because you know, at the end of Empire, he's kind of still, eh, but but when he shows up in Jedi, he's the man. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah, he, he's he's like a different person. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, what's going on? That I, that's what I've always wanted to see. I'm like, yeah. okay, so what? You know, what went out here? I mean, this yeah. guy. I mean, got new clothes, got a new lights. I mean, Luke's got is that Luke Sky? Who mm -hmm. is this? Like. <laughs> this guy's the man, you know. Like yeah. he knows all the, you know. He's got Jedi mind tricks ready to go. He's got, like, he's ready. He knows what he's doing. Like he's a lot mm. better than you know just swinging his lightsaber <laughs> around and getting hit by God knows what Vader's throwing at him. So I think, yeah, I think that'd be a, a nice progression to kind of look into. I think those areas are really untapped, also. So oh, for yeah. sure. So so yeah, more stuff like this, and I think a season two is already announced i could be wrong about that but if it's not it should be <laughs> definitely yes. um, now in other nerd news um the runtime for avatar 2 has officially been announced and it will be three hours and ten minutes <laughs> oh boy <laughs> honestly shorter than expected I mean, like, a little, but not by much. I was thinking, like, 320 something. Oh, man. I'm not watching that in theaters. I'm not doing it. I can't. I might. I don't know. It depends. Because it seems like the kind of thing where it's like, I feel like I'm not, I can't fully evaluate it if I don't get the full visual experience. Because I feel like that's definitely Avatar's strength the last time around. Yeah. And I think that wouldn't be fair because it's like, you know, if the visuals don't work, I already know this movie's a dumpster fire. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's got to be visually breathtaking, I think, in order for it to be fair. Right. Um, if, like, I, I'm not an Avatar, the movie fan. I, I just... <laughs> gotta clarify um, oh for sure so i like and i'm not one of those people that needs to see a movie every single year i'll watch what i'm interested in but like especially since if this was two hours and ten minutes i maybe would consider it but i'm not sitting through three hours of anything that's not in the game or batman i'm not sitting over through this no <laughs> <laughs> And you know, the, and the sad thing is, you know it's still going to feel right. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Somehow, I just kind of have this feeling. I'm like, if this is still, like, feels rushed, I'm just going to, I don't know what to say. Because mm -hmm. like we said last nice. week, you know, Black Adam was a just at two-hour movie, and it felt very tight. It felt like no wasted time. Mm -hmm. It got what it needed to do, got out. Like, nothing was felt, nothing felt unexplained like it was it was not, didn't feel bloated it was a very good solid two hours um you know some movies don't use their time effectively i re like i don't know how you can make a movie be like yeah this needs to be over three hours long i don't know <laughs> yeah i don't i, I mean I don't, I don't i don't know how this is gonna go but i mean it could be all right we'll see but But anyway, uh, on to the last topic I have. Um, so Netflix has officially introduced their With Tears ad for $7.99. Six or $7.99. And with that tier, um, you can watch Netflix with ads at 720p, but certain shows are not available with the ad tier. Whoa! In what? Including some Netflix mainstays like The Crown, Cobra Kai, Breaking Bad, Arrested Development, How to Get Away with oh, Murder, only... Peaky Blinders, like some very good shows that are on only on So Netflix. the only reason you would have Netflix for most people. Yeah, like Cobra what? Kai and Breaking Bad, like these are shows that are like, like, what? <laughs> Why? Why would you ever get the with tears at with ad tier if if you can't watch half the shows that are on there? What? 
Like this has been Netflix's weird strategy recently where it's like, we're gonna do everything in our power to make the user experience worse. <laughs> the thing is, I don't really get it. Like, why? Like, who can, I, I don't know. It just, it's weird to me because it's like, I understand that you want to like, you know, change it up, make more, you know, add tiers. Okay, that's kind of stupid, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're already kind of going out. You're kind of making it, you know, you're kind of putting grease on the fire that is the end, but at the same time. But this feels like kind of a slap in the face. Like, granted, I'm not, I'm not forcing anyone to get it, but it's kind of like the fact that this even exists feels like a slap in the face, you know? I agree. Like, my roommate and I are watching through Breaking Bad right now. But nice. not, not only would I not want to watch Netflix if it had ads, if I did get that, do that option, I would not be able to watch one of its best shows? Like, what? why? <laughs> Cobra Kai is a Netflix exclusive show. Like, I can't watch that? Like, wh what? <laughs> right? And, like, you know, some people can only afford the ad tier. But I think you should save your money. <laughs> like, sure, like I mean, Stranger Things was left off this list, but like, and I, I, you know, it's I don't know if just that one show was worth getting the entire service. No. I just I mean no like why? <laughs> uh, maybe it'll work out for them, but I I don't see many people jumping on this tier. <laughs> No, I don't think, again, I don't think anybody would, like, I mean, again, if you don't even have, like, any tier that doesn't have all the shows, I feel like no one's going to get, first of all, because I feel like, what's the point of getting Netflix mm -hmm. at that point? Like, especially but, since it's, it's essentially the, the base tier, which is only one user can use at a time at 720p streaming, you know, but with ads, <laughs> like, that just doesn't sound like the best it's i don't know <laughs> like you're not even getting the whole full full hd you know like multiple people can't watch at a time i just feel like there's there's no reason to to not allow people to watch stuff if you whatever whatever well yeah. <laughs> i don't know i'm sure someone up at, on, on their executive board was like this is a good idea and everyone's like whatever we'll, we'll do it <laughs> Just sure, fine, whatever. Like, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't even get it. Like, I don't really see what the like point is. Like, do you do you really just want to like make people? I don't. I don't know. I, don't know. I assume it, the corporations are going to be paying them a pretty decent penny to to have the ads on Netflix. But then, if no one actually gets the service, they're Gonna want their money back. I don't know. I mean, I feel like they still. I mean, I feel like people they're still gonna get money from the ads regardless. So, yeah. like, yeah, I guess I don't know. Again, I feel like Netflix kind of knows the writing's on the wall. They're just kind of waiting it out more or less, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, again, they're kind of speeding up the process here, <laughs> but you know, hey, you know what? That's that's their business. Mm -hmm. You know, they're make they're taking a risk. It may or may not pay off, but. Yeah, probably not. Oh, well. Um, now, moving on to the last little segment of the show, my personal favorite thing we do here, a segment called Roll Call. Yes. And today, I have two topics for you, and just for our viewers, essentially the, the name of the game is name as many things of, of, from a category I give you as you can. There's not going to be a time limit, but just name as many as you can. So, the first one I have is <clears throat> name as many significant named characters from Generation 1 of Pokemon. Oh, gosh. Wait, characters? Yes. So, not Pokemon. Not Pokemon. Named characters. Oh, jeez. So, like, every single... So, the way Generation 1 works... Like major bosses, like then the professor, they have names, right. But like, just every single trainer outside of that are just like Lass, 
or juggler or right, Ace right, or cool trainer. Like there's like basic trainer class. They don't have a name, but the elite four gym leaders and other like there's a couple the gym other leader. Systems. Okay, I can think of okay. fifteen, maybe sixteen, off the top of my head. Oh gosh! Oh man, I should have played general before this. <laughs> okay, so I mean, you can name yourself and you can name your rival, so that doesn't count, I assume. Well, but what is he known as? Cool, cool, like what is he like? Oh, isn't it like um? Oh my god, I should know this. Isn't it like no? Isn't it Gary or isn't or no? Well, Wait. I mean, isn't it? I'll, I'll accept Gary. Like I'll that? accept Gary. His, his okay, official, what is it actually? Official name is Blue, and then. Making the main oh. character's name. That's Gary, I'm guessing? No, no. if, if the rival's character's name is Blue, who's the main character? Oh, it's Red? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Stupid. All right. right. What, wait, is that just, is that depending on which version no. you get, or is it? No, it's what? In, in, in Gold and Silver, when those characters show up, Gary is Blue and Ash is Red. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, proceed. Okay. So, okay. So there's that. There's Professor Oak, right? Mm hmm Okay. And then there's... Okay. I'm going to think of gym leaders. Mm -hmm. Is that... Does your mom... I don't think your mom has a name, right? It's just mom, right? Mom. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I was trying to think. I was like, pretty good mom is mom. Okay. So gym leaders. Giovanni. Mm -hmm. one. I remember that one. Uh... Jeez. Oh, man. See, it's, uh, I haven't played this in so long. I don't remember the name. I just remember their... <sighs> wait, wait. None? <laughs> I might have nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I don't know. I, 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 I don't remember day. I was just going through it. I don't remember any of the names. I don't even... Did you watch I the got anime nothing. at I'm all? So sorry. Did you watch the show at all? No, I've never. That's the, I never saw mm. the show. I was never allowed to watch the show. I just ah. recently got into the games. I don't really wait. Watch the game. Like if this was Yu-Gi-Oh. I can name all the characters. I can't name any of the Pokemon characters. Okay. But okay. I am so sorry. Oh, I was fine. like, because they don't have like. Wait, do they have? They don't have like at, like Misty or anything, do they? Like. Yeah. Yeah. Misty is one. They do. Yeah. That's the second gym leader. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is right. I knew that. Okay. Wait. So they okay yeah no they okay and then they don't is it Brock also yes. is he in that too yes. he, is, he is? Yeah. is he he is yeah. man I did not pay attention to that game okay okay so there's Brock there's Misty there's I'm trying to think they don't have like James and Jesse that's like a show they're thing, in right? yellow so that counts yeah okay okay yeah, okay I guess that okay okay well, I'll take that okay um uh, okay who else has a name. They don't, the nurses are... In game, they, enjoy... they don't technically have a name. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, the anime called the Nurse Joy, but that's not, like, they don't have a name in the game, so... Right, okay, okay. <laughs> so I, was thinking, I don't think you ever, like, talk to them. They just give you your Pokemon back. But, okay, any other names? Clearly, a Pokemon's not my thing, you can tell. <laughs> I I think that's all I have. Okay, don't I don't the, second, the second topic I have, you'll, you'll do much better on. Um, okay, so, that makes me feel better. Because I, I, you said that, I was like, oh, crap. The second one is one I talked to you about where like, I have a good idea. So that's... Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. Point. So we got Brock, Misty, Lieutenant Surge, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, oh, Blaine, yeah. Giovanni, Lorelai, yeah. Bruno, Agatha, Lance, your rival. Yeah, I was never gonna get any of those. <laughs> like those, I was like, yeah, that was never gonna happen. I no. <laughs> oh my gosh! If you it, literally, if you had said Mister Pokemon, you would have gotten one right though. <laughs> Mister Pokemon. <laughs> I call Mister Pokemon. Actually, you might. Wait, who is that? You might technically be Generation Two. Now I think about it, but there is there's a guy just named Mister Pokemon. <laughs> hey. Oh, there. Something I didn't know. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, you'll you'll do better on the second one. But first, you have one for me. I hope so, because yeah, that first one, I hit a wall hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so this one's going to be a little fun. This one's going to test your knowledge, because it it's been a little while. Okay. But, not too long, but okay. So, how many Stan Lee cameos can you name? <laughs> 
Oh. Of like a character he played or a position or something. Okay. Okay. Like as far as just what he was. So I, there's no particular order. I'm just firing off what I have. Fantastic oh, Four and, any... and Fantastic Four: Rise of the Silver Surfer. He was a guy who was um, not let into the wedding. In mm-hmm. the first movie, he plays a character who was like kind of a Stanley insert in the comics named Oh, someone the policeman. Or some policeman guy. Something like yeah, um, it's um oh god. What's his name? It's like it's like Rudy or some name like that. Um so he's he's that in 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 the first Fantastic Four movie. Um in Hulk, the two thousand three one him and Lou Ferrigno are, in, are exiting some building as, as Eric Bana is walking in. Um, mm-hmm. I couldn't for the life of you tell me, I couldn't for the life of me tell you the Iron Man one, but I know in uh, Credible Hulk, he drinks a like Gamba infused bottle of whatever they sell and dies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and Iron Man 2, Iron Man mistakes him for Warren Buffett or some like some other rich guy um it was Larry it was Larry King oh it was okay. but yeah <laughs> yeah but no that's good yeah I'll give you that one um in Thor he's the truck driver who tries to pull iron or tries to pull Thor's hammer but fails um mm. at the age of Ultron he's at the party and gets wasted um yep veteran yeah Thor Ragnarok he's the the barber on the car mm. Infinity War he's a bus driver and Endgame he's right. the 70s driver um, when they yep. do the 70s flashback Captain Marvel he's on the bus train yeah train yep. in Black Panther really he good. is playing billiards or like playing yeah. one of those yeah, Cardi- at the casino. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Deadpool one, he's at a strip club. In uh, Ant Man, he is there during the the uh, the Ant Man's friend. Remember Ant Man's friend? I never remember his name. Um, Luis. Yeah, when Luis is doing oh, yeah. that, like that, like recap of the end of the movie, he's like one of the guys who like, he like mouths over something. Um, mm-hmm. In Deadpool two, he has a no, not a cameo, but he is a mural on a wall. In Venom, at the very end of the movie, for no particular reason, he's like, "I think you two are gonna be a great couple." <laughs> some reason um the last actually his last one before yep. he passed and into the spider-verse he was a yeah, a merchandise salesman. <laughs> that's one of my favorite oh, ones absolutely. It always fits. they all <laughs> fit eventually <laughs> Very <fun>. <laughs> so good um In X Men Apocalypse, he is. It cuts to him randomly when, like, when Apocalypse is like making the world do weird things. It cuts to him and it's like he's holding on to some girl or some some woman. He's like standing in front of him on his porch, like, "What's happening?" Um, where is he in Avengers One? Um. Oh, 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 oh. He's there in Avengers 1 during, like, the aftermath where he's like, flying aliens, I don't believe it, or something like that. Yeah, it's like, superheroes in New York? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're doing really great. think I don't 
remember where he is in Iron Man 3. I don't remember where he is in Winter Soldier. Um, I still haven't seen all of First Avengers, so I don't know where he is in that. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, th- I think I think I'll, I'll, I'll tap there with it. Yeah. That was pretty. That was really good. That was really good. Off the top of my head, some ones I think it was like... And Amazing Spider-Man, he's like the janitor oh, while yes. him the lizard are fighting. He's got the headphones on. Right. Was what I thought of. And um, I know in um Guardian, I think it's Guardians too. He's mm. like the astronaut they leave behind or something. Yeah, there's some. There's a lot of really good. They're always funny. That's the thing. They're mm. always so funny and memorable. But like, yeah, but no, that was good. You got way more than I would have <laughs> got. I would have got like five. <laughs> you got a ton. That was really good. It helps that I've watched a lot of them again recently, but yeah. <laughs> I think whatever the reason. Because um, like you were going from not even MCU movies. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> although I see, I watched all of the Spider-Man recently and I couldn't remember any. That's <laughs> true. That's true. Like, I, can, I know he's in Spider-Man 3. I couldn't tell you where. <laughs> um, so... My, right? Like I, <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm, oh, let me, I got my list pulled up. Let me see. Iron Man. Spider Man. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where he's like, in Spider Man 3, he's like sitting next to Toby and he's talking about, like, wow, I guess one guy really can make a difference when they're talking about Spider Man. Like, oh, okay. Spider Man 3, yeah. And Spider Man 1. You know, he put, he moves a girl away from, you know, falling debris. I think mm. that was pretty, yeah. Because at the, like, festival or whatever they're having. Right. And then Spider-Man 2, let's see. Oh, he does the same thing with the Doc Op thing at the bank, it looks like. Okay, okay. so it's pretty. The, his first two are pretty blink and you miss it. He doesn't even say it. He just kind yeah. of saves it. Most somebody. of the X-Men, he's just in the background. He's not... Like he doesn't really yeah he's kind of there yeah and homecoming he's like don't make me come down there <laughs> yeah <laughs> neighbors how are you doing yeah, yeah. Was, uh, he's some good ones how's your mother oh um okay so my second one for you sticking with marvel stuff or actually well i guess superheroes in general okay name as many superhero arch nemeses as you can Oh, I like this. Okay. So okay. I, I'm going to relegate you just to one per, per person, person or group. I, like, for example, the X-Men okay. could have something or a Wolverine has his own guy. Um, okay. Okay. That could work. Okay. That could work. Okay. Cool. 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 Now, is this for any hero or is this just Marvel DC or like, how do you want him to? Whatever you want to do. So if I was like Mega Mind and Metro Man, is that what? Yeah. <laughs> Believe out. it or not, that's the first thing I thought of. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can go with that. Okay. okay, so obviously we've got Batman and the Joker. Yep. We've got Superman and Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. We've got, I guess, all the Green Lanterns in Sinestro, but sure. I guess Hal Jordan yep. would be the most relevant one. Um, we got Flash and Reverse Flash. Mm-hmm. I would assume or Zoom or whatever, yep. you know. Um, I would say, I guess, Manhunter and Malabak. I think that's yeah. Arch Nemesis. I don't really. That's the thing. Like, that's the only man. That's the only Martian Manhunter villain I can think of. So I'm guessing that's his arch nemesis. Sure. Right. Like, <laughs> we'll call. We'll call that one. Sure. Yeah. Um, I think Mindhunter. I think Mindhunter might be associated Mind with them. Is that a guy? It feels like a guy. Who's Mindhunter? I don't even remember that. I know he. He was like beaten off screen during a episode of Young Justice and during when I was making when we were making our our, our like ideal DC universe, he came up a couple of times when researching uh okay. Manhunter villains. I don't know if he's like a oh. Manhunter specific villain, if he's like his arch guy, but Arch Manhunter's arch nemesis. Okay, well I Googled it and it says Malapox. So okay, I guess Google's right. That's close enough. Was, <laughs> yeah. That'll I'll I'll yeah. take that. Because okay. again, that's the only one I would even know off the top yeah. of my head. So <laughs> I would just assume by default there that's his arch nemesis. Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess Wonder Woman and Cheetah, I would assume. Yeah. Um let's see. Green Arrow and I guess Count Vertigo or Merlin? I don't know. Prometheus? Hmm. I don't know. For me that's what I'm saying. It's like I feel like, it, depending on which version, I feel like it would be Merlin, because it's kind of the opposite. But then again, I feel like Vertigo is more popular, so 
I'll say Vertigo, okay. probably. Um, let's see, who else? What other superheroes from DC am I missing right now? Probably missing a ton. I guess does. No, it doesn't count. That's not really. That's like a. I was gonna say like Nightwing, but I was like, no, that doesn't. That's more of a whole, like the Teen Titans as a whole. I don't think that's really counts. Well, I guess that does count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a okay, team, that does count. Yeah. Okay, so I guess the Teen Titans and like Slade, I guess, yeah. kind of, or Deathstroke, that's what that I would, would work. And that, well, they, they, I guess you could say the Dark Side and the Justice League, I guess, with the same yep. energy. So yep. I guess that counts. Um, let's see. Who else has like a legit like arch bow? Like it's on site. Um, I know there's probably at least one or two I'm like obviously missing for DC. Hmm. What about? I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking booster gold, but I can't think of a single booster gold bill. Nope. Um, no, definitely not. Um, all right, I'm going to move on from DC because okay, that's all I can think of. DC, that's oh. very good. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so we've got Spider-Man and the Green Goblin for sure. That's I hear the some people for Doc Ock, but it, it, it's Green Goblin. Yeah, I, 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 get, I get My whole thing is like, it really depends because some people would also argue Venom because their whole Venom's connection thing. But it's character at this point. Like, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's not, I mean, comic book wise, like, I feel, I don't know. I mean, I'm not counting yeah. the movies, but I mean, yeah, Doc Ock, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, Doc, no, no, I agree. Okay, sure, yeah. for, at least for my opinion, mm-hmm. but I guess, you know, we would have to ask Peter what he thinks, <laughs> I would assume, but yeah okay so we've got the x-men with magneto Mm -hmm. we've got the fantastic four with dr doom right we've got all right other i know other marvel well i I guess wolverine and Sabretooth, but that kind of yeah that's a that's a that's a beef that goes way back um who is dinner devil's arch is it kingpin or would that be kingpin that's i was thinking kingpin but i was trying to think maybe somebody else that's the easy way out but i was like yeah i could see kingpin Okay, let's see. Who else do I know has legit I like one arch enemy? This is a good category. I like I like that you picked this. Um, Hulk and Abomination, I guess. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, Abomination more than like anyone else. Um, Thor and Loki. That's I what guess I was, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, because like, I was thinking. I was like, I mean, I know they're brothers, but I feel like that's a dynamic that's pretty. You know, mm-hmm. all right, okay. So Captain America and Red Skull, yes. um, Black Panther and Killmonger, I, I guess probably. Yeah. I wouldn't know oh, enough no, to no, be no, sure. Nope, I wouldn't say him. There's someone oh, else who's like name more of them. I mean, I don't know. Um, he was in the first Black Panther movie. Oh no, Claw. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I know that. No, you're right. You are right. That, no, you are. Right. I forgot about. Like Claw essentially, the way I'm framing this is like, if there, if you have a a video game or some entity based on this character, you would be weird if this guy didn't show up. So like, you know, in yes. in Ultimate Alliance, you go to Wakanda, Claw shows up. That makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, that's like okay. I think that's fair logic with that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what other Marvel heroes am I not thinking? I said Hulk already. I didn't do Ant Man and I guess Yellow Jacket, I guess. Maybe. I don't really I thought, know. I thought like, Yellow Jacket was like a different costume for Ant Man in the comics, and they kind of took that to be. Like they I actually of, don't know then. I don't yeah, know about Ant-Man in the comics. I'm, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't know any Ant-Man villain, so I was just, I would, kind of a shot in the dark there, to be honest. I, don't know. I, but yeah. like, I have no idea mm-hmm. as far as like, yeah, because I don't, I don't think I know any Ant-Man villains really, mm-hmm. unless there's like an Ant Eater or something. <laughs> I think that <laughs> would be funny. hilarious. Very funny, right? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm not thinking of that. I probably should be thinking of Marvel. Mm. Trying to go through the movies. Who am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting somebody. I think I'm probably forgetting a lot of people. Like I don't know. It's always hard when you have to like 
think on the spot. It's like, oh crap. Yeah. Like, I don't really know if Hawkeye or Black Widow have anyone in particular outside. That's kind of what I was thinking. Taskmaster, but he's not really a individual. That's not really a them villain. Yeah. yeah, like that's not really a. He could show up, but he's not like their guy. Yeah, he's he's kind of he's kind of he's kind of multi anybody's yeah. villain really kind of thing. But like, what about? No. All right, that's all I can think of right now. So okay. I'm going to hold off on that. And then as far as just other people, I said Megamind and Metro Man, which mm. is hilarious, still hilarious yeah. to me. Um, what other superheroes do I know? I don't really know if Invincible has an Archer Man, at least not the one that I know of. But I can't think of one if I could. I mean, I can't say his dad, but... <laughs> I don't know if that counts. <laughs> I, I would not count that. I don't really know what it is. No. Well, it's hard because he doesn't really have an arch enemy because every single... It's not really a rivalry if you get dogged by everyone yeah. who fights you, so it's like... It's not really a fair fight. I mean, he kind of got bodied uh, by everybody, so it's like, I don't think he's a rivalry. He's kind of more just, you got beat by these many mm -hmm. people. Let's see. What about... Other superheroes. Uh, surprisingly, all the superheroes I can think of don't really have one arch enemy. They kind of have like mm. villain of the week kind of vibes going on. <sighs> From memory, who would you say is Word Girl's arch enemy? <laughs> That's what I, I was literally thinking that. I was literally thinking that. I was like, I, there's. It really kind of just depends on the episode. Like, it, I don't think she has an arch. Like, I, I, don't, I haven't seen every episode. There's probably but... somebody who shows up more often, or probably I wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody who like declared themselves her nemesis, but she doesn't recognize them. I don't know. <laughs> no, I feel like she kind of sees them all the same. She's kind of just kind of like, yeah, whatever. He has yeah. all kind of. I mean, as much as I want it to be Chuck the Evil Sandwich Making Guy, which oh, is still the greatest <laughs> name. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's so, it's like, oh man, oh, 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 out of left field, but Danny Phantom and Vlad, that's when I just thought about. I'll take it. Out of that's literally 20. nowhere. That's funny. I was like, yeah. yeah, I'll just take that because I don't, I don't know why I thought about, oh, it's because I thought this Chuck and the Box Ghost mm. had the same energy <laughs> as yep. far as just what is that name, but I'm going to tap out there because okay. that's as money as I can get. Okay. Um, yeah, some others, pretty, do you have any that I missed? That were some pretty random obvious. ones that I kind of. Some of these are a bit of a stretch as to what a superhero is, but I'll, but I'll, I'll do it anyway. Um, okay. So uh, Shazam and Black Adam. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> we just talked about that. How did I miss that? Oh. Um, Venom and Carnage. Obviously. Okay, yeah, that was good. I guess. That I mean, good. that might be a bit of a stretch because they're both. I just didn't think of Venom as a hero, no. so I guess that's why. That, that's I just kind of say yeah. they're both Spider-Man villains in my head, so I guess yeah. so. But yeah, um, that's a good one. Uh, 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 Colossus and Juggernaut have a rivalry. Oh, they have beef? I didn't know it was yeah. like that. Okay. Um, I can see that, though. Ben 10 and Vilgax. <laughs> oh, yeah! That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, oh, yeah. was yeah, that, that's all. That's Classic all Bill Gax was crazy. Oh, yeah. Say what? That, that's all I thought of. I can't think of any more. Yeah, no, that was, that was some good one. I, mean, I kind of want to look up some more arch enemies. Like, I'm sure Captain Marvel has one. I'm sure Ant Man does have one. Probably. Um, like some of them might be more like. Oh, Harry Potter and Voldemort. There's one. I don't, I don't think he's a superhero. <laughs> A superhero, but I guess I don't know. I just kind, I guess I kind of just, I just looked up, you know, best, you know, or you know, you know, it was like, you know, whatever. It's like Spider Man, Green Goblin, The Flash, and from Eobard Thawne, Inspector Gadget, and Doctor Claw. There's one. Mm -hmm. no, that's not really a superhero, but I mean, oh, Iron Man, the Mandarin. They're usually, uh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of an Iron Man villain. I was like, yeah, but I guess because they underdid the Mandarin in the MCU, I didn't think about it. Yeah. Let's see, Sonic and Doctor Eggman. If you consider Sonic a superhero, yeah. sure, why not? <laughs> um, let's see, what's some other one? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's a little. I mean, yeah. Austin Powers and Doctor Evil. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That is a good one. Um, okay, those are some good. Those are some good ones. I don't know. I, I like this though because I feel like there is like a li- there is a literal like tier of like you might be a villain, but if you're not an arts villain, what are you really like, doing? I wouldn't you know consider I mean? Parasite Superman's arch nemesis, but he does. Oh, he shows no. up every now and then. <laughs> no, I mean Parasite's like. Parasite is like the equivalent of like the Riddler to Batman for uh, Superman. Like he's a villain that after a while he needs to come up, but no one's gonna be like, oh yeah, this is your greatest foe. Mm-hmm. Like between Lex Luthor, Dark Side, Doomsday, Zod. <laughs> like I mean, he's like the seventh villain I would probably think, like the fifth would, or sixth villain. I would I consider Grodd more, more of a villain than him. Like okay, maybe not that far. Now. I mean, well, I, don't, I guess it depends. Grodd. Broad kind of pass. Depends on, yeah, it depends I mean, on if he's already established the 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 uh, Injustice League yet, but like, or yeah, that's true. Doers, whatever they want to call oh. it today. Oh, great one! Hmm? The Ninja Turtles and Shredder. Yes. That's a great one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah, that one I shouldn't have missed. Yep. Yeah, Abomination. Oh, she Abomination apparently is a thing. Okay. Yeah. Not They're also that. she Red Hulk. <laughs> She there's a she everything, huh? <laughs> it's just man, they are. I mean, you know, equality, but I mean, <laughs> Peter Pan and Captain Hook. Yes, yes, pretty good. Okay. Um. Oh, Sheriff Nottingham and Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I didn't mm-hmm. think of that. that. Um. Let's see. Um, Billy Butcher and Homelander. Oh uh, yeah. There's a good one. I need to watch that. Yep. He's like, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess. Oh, the uh, powerful T-1000. girl. T-1000. Oh, <laughs> yes. Good one. Good one. Okay, see. Oh, Jafar and Aladdin. Okay, I guess that's not really our villain. That's the only villain. A movie, yeah. But... <laughs> The yeah, that doesn't really count, but no. Dodo, Jojo, and yeah, that's a good one. That was okay. Yeah, that was pretty fun. That that was that was a good one. I did like that one because it's not just villains. It has to be undisputed. Everyone knows. Yeah, okay, that's the number one villain. Yes, that was a good. I like that one. Mm. Okay. Um, anything else you want to bring up or discuss before we sign off? No, not much. Black Panther comes out on Thursday or Friday. Sure does. I've already got tickets for Thursday, actually. But Good. yes, um, it is. It's on. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be emotion. It's probably gonna be very emotional. So, but I'm really excited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I have left is I'm rocking my voting sticker today. Uh, so yeah. Voted, midterms are on Tuesday, so do that do it. <laughs> if you can. Obviously, do it. Do it. <laughs> um, and then the best thing about it is after we're done, no more voting ads on YouTube. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <Rough this year. laughs> oh man. And they're always unskippable. Like uh-huh. it's just like it's like vote well, for this person. This per- it's not it's so funny because it's like they're the ads now, you don't even see like who they want you to vote for. They just say don't vote for this yep. person. This person's a terrible person. I'm like, so who do you want me to vote for? It sounds like you just want me to just leave my ballot blank. I don't know what you want I mean, me to do. Some like, people think that's that that's an effective strategy. If people don't vote, they're not voting for someone. So like that's I guess yeah. so, but I mean still I just like I don't even know what you want. They're just like, No, this person's awful. And it's like, <laughs> like All right then. Like I, you ain't gotta <laughs> convince me. <laughs> but, but like you know, do your own research. No, like, don't don't listen to those ads. They're simply made to make you feel things that aren't real. So <laughs> just yes, do your own research and just yeah. do your own you know, research. Right? You know, and at the end of the day, but voting is important yes. for sure. Because if you vote, you get to complain about what's going on. <laughs> you you and try you to get, stop a it. get a sticker. That's the part. Yeah. The stickers <laughs> have to raise enough. But seriously, <laughs> I got a free pen too, actually. So that's that's cool. What? Yeah, got um. Where is it? Yeah. They let you keep the pen. Nice yeah. That, that is a nice pen, yeah. actually. Matt. See, 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at the benefits of voting. Because I did not even get a pen. Okay? And I'm pretty sure I threw my sticker in the way. I don't know where it is. So it's probably in the trash when I left. But the point is, you can get a sticker and possibly a pen. I mean, if that's not enough, I don't know what else to tell you. Some you could also, candy, you know, change the you know. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if they gave out candy, more people I would yeah. <laughs> legitimately more people. Our greatest turnout ever. What's the secret? <laughs> like a whole you know, like a handful of dumbbells at the door. <laughs> you got a whole crunch bar for Whatever it takes. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm getting back in line. Like, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just like Oh my gosh, dude! Good times, man. Good yeah. times. Yeah, make your voice heard. Um, yeah, and with that, we'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.